is a quick um, Olympic lifting warm up. Um, it's, it's a it's a variation of the Bergner warm up. Uh, I can't take credit for this, <laughs> but it's a great warm up. It's also a really good teaching method. So if you're just learning Olympic lifts with me, um, I encourage you to just try this. So get this this video up on a computer. <coughs> something that's a large screen so you can see it and just follow along. So I'm going to do something once um, and then you're going to try to do it three times. Using a broomstick works really well. This was a, it's like fits into a broom or something. Um, if you have an actual broom, that works just as well. Um, grab it and, and let's do this. So I'm going to do the snatch in this video and we'll get another video for the clean. Um, so I'm going to start with my feet underneath my hips. I'm going to kind of be at an angle here so you can see me. Stick my bum back. Just gonna pop my hips, shrug my shoulders. Just pop your hips, shrug your shoulders. Go ahead. Okay, next, <coughs> it's gonna be a pop shrug and your elbows will bend. So I pop my hips, shrug my shoulders, elbows bend half. This is what I've been working, um, I see people have a lot of trouble with, is getting to this position. Oftentimes people end up here, so they do this, and they go like this. This is not gonna get you anywhere. Here is where you need to end up. So, it's a pop shrug, Elbows high. Go ahead. Three of those on your own. <coughs> okay, next is a high hang power clean. So from that high hang position, we're going to pop shrug, elbows bend, and then you get under it. In real time, it looks like this. <coughs> All right, give it a shot. Give me about three of those. Okay, next part is the overhead squat. So I'm just in this position, uh, and I just want, to, I want you to squat. Give me three good overhead squats. Think nice and tall, proud chest. Try to stay as upright as possible. Give me three. Next, we're doing um, a pressing snatch balance. So bar stays in the same place. You're going to push yourself down underneath the bar. Stand up. Reset, okay? So think about the bar is kind of like a ceiling. It's not going to move. Push yourself underneath the bar. Stand up. Reset. Give me three of those. Next, we have a, <coughs> a snatch balance. So it's kind of the same thing you just did, but it's fast. So my feet are also going to move. My feet are going to start underneath my hips. And as I dip, drive, drop, they're going to go from under my hips into a squat stance. So it looks like this. Reset. Um, two ways to do this. <coughs> you can either do, uh, you can get your hips into this, or you can just go straight down. It's heaving snatch balance versus a snatch balance. I don't care which one you do right now for this drill. <coughs> uh, so, a heat, so if you just drop, it looks like this. There's no movement of the hips. Otherwise, you can dip, drive, and drop. So three of those. Next, we have a high hang snatch. So we're going to start in this high hang position, and I'm just going to get all the way under the bar. I'm going to pull myself up. Remember, elbows high. And pull myself all the way down. It looks like this. Stand up. Reset. One more time. And reset. Go ahead. <coughs> then next, we're just going to move down to the knees. So instead of starting in this high hang position, we're just going to hinge forward, starting just above the knees. We're going to pull back up and down. So we do it one more time. Okay. One thing to note here is my elbows. Stay straight until I pop my hips, then my elbows bend. Okay? Sometimes people try to pull like this. No elbow bend until you're up here. Pop your hips, then the elbows bend. Okay? Just give me three of those. <coughs> and the last part, we're just going to put it all together. So I'm going to start at the high hanging position. I'm going to stick my bum back, hinge forward, and then I'm just going to bend my knees. Okay? From here, Pull my knees back, do a full snatch, okay? Let me show that one more time. That's it. 
So great drills to do. Um, this great thing just to do daily. Run through this, take five or 10 minutes. Uh, just to learn the movements of it. Again, uh, PVC pipe, broomstick, anything like that works fine. Um, if you got questions, just reach out.